What's up, YouTube? So, by some miracle, I was able to get my uh, Golf R into the garage. And as you can tell, my garage is a little bit packed here. Uh, somehow, I was able to get it in. Probably wouldn't have been able to do it without the parking sensors. Um, on this side, I gave myself just enough space to get out of the car. But as you can see, not much space either. So, why are we in the garage? Well, I didn't want to do this mod outside, and what this mod is, is a gloss black vinyl roof wrap. So why a gloss black vinyl roof wrap? Well, first of all, bird poop always gets on the roof. Having the vinyl there will definitely protect the paint better. Another thing, it looks badass. It'll match the uh, shark fin antenna, it'll match the caps on the mirrors, and I think that it just looks awesome and makes the car look even lower than it is. So the first thing that I'm going to do is a spoiler here and then I'll take the big piece later on. Hopefully I can get it done and I can give you guys some tips. So I've had this car for just over half a year uh, and you can already feel that it needs a claim. So that's what I'm going to do first. And no, this is not tire shine. I just used the bottle. It's filled with water. Nice and smooth now. All right, time to wipe everything down and we'll start applying the vinyl. So I decided not to cheap out and try and use a razor to cut this line right here that I want the wrap to follow the contour of. Uh, I decided to get some wrap cut. Uh, and we'll see how good this works or how bad it works, but supposedly it makes it a lot easier to get great lines on your wrap. So I don't know if you could see it, but there's a filament inside and uh, that's what I have to use in order to uh, cut it after I lay down the vinyl. So I'm just trying to follow the contour of the uh, spoiler itself. Definitely don't want to mess up this step. But yeah, it looks like it's this thing makes life a lot easier. We'll see if it actually cuts later. Had some uh, weird reviews of it. The hardest part is making sure that the part that you the parts that you've already laid down don't come off. So the hardest part I think is getting this curve right here. I'm not doing too well right now. Definitely gonna have to come back to this edge later and fix it up. On straight or very lightly curved edges, it's not a problem. I'm able to get through this pretty quickly. This side definitely laid down a little bit easier. I think I just got to keep a lot of pressure when you put the tape down. All right, this side looks like it's good to go. And so is this side. One more quick wipe down and then we'll put on the vinyl. I'm going to start at one edge and work my way across. So the type of vinyl that I bought supposedly has air release or the bubble release. Um, we'll see how that, how well that actually works. But so far it seems to be laying down pretty easy. And I don't seem to be having many bubbles yet. But we'll see. We'll continue to work our way a little bit at a time.
Looks like so far so good. Gonna see if the wrap cut actually works and we'll just test it out. Let's see. Gotta be very careful not to scr scratch my paint work there. Okay, so supposedly how this works is that you have to uh, somehow get the filament out of it and pull only the filament. All right, so this is a filament and I'm just gonna rip it like a band-aid, see if it works. So far so good. Wow, this is definitely making life a lot easier than trying to cut this line with a razor after the fact. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, let's get off this excess. Look at that. Peels right off, perfect line. And all you have to do afterwards is take off the tape. And we'll see how good that line comes out in just a second. Probably have to touch it up a little bit, but overall, pretty great. Just these edges need to be touched up, but the rest of it looks really good. Time to heat it up a little bit and make sure that uh, it's sticking well. the edges with that I need to clean up so as you can see the edges here are just fine all the way through but at the tight curves right here definitely need to work on uh, the curve right there this parts good 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 and the wrap around the edge very very nice and maybe a little bit of help right here as well. I think I might have overshot here just a little bit, but a razor should take care of that. All right, so I just got done with the spoiler section and it's looking really good. I can't wait to do the entire roof. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of space in here, so I know I'm gonna encounter some troubles and I'm really gonna take advantage of the bubble release, I'm sure. Uh, but just like the procedure was for this part, I'm going to have to clay bar the entire roof, clean it down, make sure it's nice and clean before I start applying the vinyl. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do a time lapse of this section just simply because I know it's going to take a while. But I'll definitely show you guys the finished product. So stay tuned. Yeah.